<laughs> hey guys, this is Versatop from Game Exterior. So we got a really quick PSP tutorial today. I'm gonna show you how to enable game categories or just categories in general on your PSP to make it easier to organize your homebrew programs, your games, your apps, whatever you got going on. So how do you do that? So, well, first thing is I'm gonna assume that your PSP is already modded. So with that said, I'll show you how to get the plugin. If you go to the more info section, I'm using Game Categories Lite version 1.4. And after you download it, I want you to extract it and put it into your PSP. So if you go to your PSP and you go to SE plugins, you should have a plugin that you extract that is called category underscore light dot PRX. If you go into your VSH dot text file, make sure you have it like this. For example, you have it as uh, that particular line with the number one and you go file and you save it. And then when you go to your PSP, uh, make sure you enable that plugin, which I'll show you in the video footage once we get to that portion of this tutorial. Now, next thing is you want to make sure that you start adding uh, new folders to organize your games and your programs. So like for example in the ISO folder I made this another folder called cat you know cat underscore games and it's important that you use that cat uppercase prefix and if I double click on here here's all my different ISOs that are inside that particular folder. Likewise I go to PSP I go to game and I have three more folders that I already um, created before. So apps, games, and PS1 games. This games folder were actually combined with the other games folder. So that's how that works for merging the folders. And then the apps, I got some apps here. And then PS1 games, I have some example PS1 games there as well. And then you remove your PSP from the computer and that's it. So with that said, let's jump straight into the other video tutorial footage. All right, let's do this. So in this portion of the video, I'm just going to show you some real proof here. Now, I have a modded PSP, and I'm actually using 6.60 Pro B10 firmware. All right, so let's press Select. And all I want you guys to do is just go down to Recovery Menu, and then go down to Plugins, press X, and just verify that all your plugins are enabled, so that's a good sign. So let's go back to Back, and go back to the main menu here. All right, so if you go down to System Settings, and then here we have these new um, categories here. So here we call something called category mode. And we got a multi M5 or MS, sorry. And then contextual menu. And then here we say category prefix. So I'm going to say use the category prefix. Otherwise, you can say none. And it'll just show your entire photo structure. Show on categorize. Here you can say which ones you want to do. So right now I'm going to say no, which is fine. And then that's pretty much it. So I want to show you the first mode there. So if I go to game we see that my folders are basically as shown as memory sticks basically. So I press X here and this is my game section. Now it should load momentarily. See if I go down to apps, this is what it looks like. So here's all my different apps. Likewise, if I go down to PS1 games, it's going to show all the PS1 games. Okay. So that's what that particular mode looks like. So let's go back to system and then we're going to go down to category mode and let's change that to this contextual menu. And there you can see how that looks different. All it comes down to is just based on personal preference. I, myself, like the contextual menu. So this is what it looks like, games, apps, PS1 games. So I click on games, and it's just displayed a little bit differently. So here's all the games, right? And if I press circle, I go back, and let's see, I want to see, go to apps, and then it shows a different list there. I just think it's a little bit nicer, and it's just less clutter that way. So that is the tutorial in a nutshell. If you like this type of video, please like, share, and subscribe. So hopefully one day we get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.